Hey y'all. <laughs> yeah, it's dark in here. Reminds me of uh, when I was making my trip cross country last year. So I'm coming up on my one year anniversary. And uh, yeah, I'm in there. And you can't see it, but my eyeball. Um, I did something to it. And it's been uh, bothering me for about three three days, I guess, and uh, I think it's it's I think it's getting better. I don't know. Anyway, it's getting better. It's just slow. Um, and I wanted to share with you um, a writing that I actually did when I realized, oh, my one year anniversary of being in Y Arizona is coming up. And so it's kind of testimony of uh, all of it for, I've gotten some new subscribers recently and, and there's so many videos. And if you're using your phone, um, apparently I went and looked and I, it, it won't show me my videos uh, before January of this year. I don't know how it works on the computer because the Wi-Fi is really... Uh, it doesn't work here when people start coming in and lots have. So, there's that. Um, so, I don't know what it looks like on the computer. Maybe you can get... It uh, goes back to... Uh, I, um, I started out posting videos. Uh, well, I've got one that was the day I left, the day before I left, when I was hitching up, and that was like a Saturday, maybe, before Thanksgiving, because by, I think I got on the road like Sunday, um, Sunday or Monday, uh, before Thanksgiving last year, and this year it's on the 22nd, so anyway, here goes. The days of autumn, bringing a shift to the sun, shorter days, longer shadows. I watch as even the cacti acknowledge the change. Birds, animals, insects, all things living in their seasons, for their seasons. And I think back and remember this same season a year ago. The autumn of 2017. It was a hurricane of change in my life. Unlike the birds and animals, I fought against it. I struggled against the winds and cried bitter tears. I pleaded with Abba to let me stay, and he persistently said, no, this season, this season, you will pack up the remainder of your life and go. Go? Go where, Abba? To the place I will lead you, he said. I argued. Not in anger, but in fear. There were wars, rumors of riots, and angry protest everywhere I looked. I pleaded not to have to return to lands I had left with no intentions of returning to when I hauled my life out of there. I had cycled through all the seasons in the mountains of Virginia. I was prepared in my heart to face another harsh winter there. But circumstance forced me away, and Abba had a plan for my future, not to harm me, but to bless me. But I couldn't see far down the road, so I timidly pulled out from the woods in the tiny space I had occupied and developed and tended. Then I drove three hours to a place I had called home for most of my life, North Carolina. I arrived hopeful that maybe this was all the journey I would have to make. But before the end of autumn 2017, I knew he wanted me away from the old paths and the people I had known and the place I was learning 
was not truly my home. When I get, excuse me, when I began preparing the tiny and myself to leave the county I had grown up in, the question was always posed, where will you go? And though I had spent weeks fasting, praying, and seeking clear voice on where, he only said, south and then west. So, that's what I told them. I will drive south. In Georgia, there's a highway, 84. And it's running west. And it will take me all the way to Abilene, Texas. That's it. <laughs> that was all I knew. And that's how this journey began. Leaving what I knew to head down paths I didn't. My only friend left was Yeshua. That cold November morning, it was just me and him. And though I was afraid, I knew in my heart that he would go before me. He would be my rear guard. And no matter what happened, and so many things did, I was always safe in his care. Somewhere along the way, everything changed. I was given a destination. I was given wonderful, loving friends. I was given a ministry and provision. And I was presented with trials and frightening circumstance. I was given brothers and sisters an outpouring of love and encouragement and acceptance. I had imagined could never happen this side of heaven. As I enter into this season now, I can feel the winds of change. Now I'm questioned, what next? Where will you go? <laughs> and I only have a simple answer. I am here. I will be here till Abba says it's time to go. And when he calls me, he will lead me. And every step, every mile, every circumstance, and every provision will be designated when it's time. Each day, I seek his face. I cry out in gratitude for the simple, tiny life he has blessed me with. I seek the good works he prepared in advance for me to do. And I wait. I wait to hear the whisper that says, This is the way. Follow it. In my sixth decade of this life, six decades, <laughs> it's what I know to do. To follow the pillar of smoke by day and the fire by night. This world, this world is not our home. We are on a journey. We are all pilgrims, strangers in a foreign land. May we all continue to seek his way as he pours out strength for this journey that leads home. And may we all hear those precious words as we cross the threshold, the finish line, our ultimate destination. Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into true eternal rest. Amen and forever. Amen. So, since then, gosh, I wrote that in September. Um, there's been camper build and truck repair is happening now and... Um, what else? So many things. And it has turned, it went from autumn to winter real quick. <laughs> it kind of went from summer to winter. And we didn't have much autumn. But things are beautiful here. And I have been so blessed in my time here. And I'm still getting that question. So, where are you going now? Uh, nowhere. Not yet. But, I know. It's just the way things have been in the last decade. So, 
I don't make that much of a nomad. Not a really great nomad, but I'm a great gypsy. <laughs> I go, and then I kind of stay there for a while and learn the people and and uh, the place. And then I move on to where I'm led to next. So, for now, I'm here. And... I have uh, just about finished the camper build. I have more pictures, but got distracted last week with a lot of other things. And um, one of the big things was my truck. And uh, so I got this great camper, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, man. Repair that I kind of had anticipated had to be done. So it's getting done. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going over to Bob's today. And uh, I'm going to set up my sewing machine in his yard and use his inverter and do some sewing. <laughs> I'll have to take a picture and show you. So, anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that reading. I love y'all.